the Robert J. Collins Arena at Brookdale Community College. Before we welcome the man's class of 2019 to the arena, I would like to recognize our distinguished guests here with us today. President of the Board of Education, Ms. Allison Friedman. Vice President of the Board of Education, Ms. Anissa Esposito. Dr. John Delaney, Ms. Randy Moore, and Ms. Joelle Knapp. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Deputy, Deputy Mayor Swindell and Councilwoman Kelly from the Township of Avenue and Councilwoman Gunn from the Borough of Madeline. Superintendent, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Joseph Micah. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. John Bombardier. <laughs> Director of Curriculum and Instruction, grades 6 through 12, Dr. Alfred Rawls Dill. <laughs> Director of Curriculum and Instruction, grades pre-K to 5, Ms. Mona Tobia. <laughs> Director of Personnel, Mr. Michael Liebman. School Business Administrator, Mr. Alex Ferreira. Our Early Childhood Administrator, Ms. Michelle Scottish. Our Assistant Director of Special Services and Programs, Ms. Margaret Laser. And our High School Principal, Mr. Aaron Iwer. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. Your support and guidance is greatly appreciated. At this time, I ask you to please rise and join me in welcoming the Madawan Aberdeen Middle School Class of 2019.
please remain standing as I welcome George Opuku Mensa, student council president, to the stage to lead us to the salute to the flag. Will the select members of the eighth grade course please take your positions in preparation to lead us in the Star Spangled Banner? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Until finally this year, 
we became kings and queens, having achieved our goal of learning and being here today at graduation, winning our own playing field. Like a game of chess, we have mastered our sets of, of skills and strategies. We have made so many memories and strong relationships as we moved up to each great level here at MAMS. The time we spent here is something we must not take for granted, as we've had so many opportunities to discover ourselves through our unique experiences. The various clubs, sports, and events that we've been involved in have given us a chance to explore our capabilities with a positive mindset, and our teachers and staff have supported us while we experienced everything MAMS has had to offer. Now that we're getting older, we're going to become adults. It is important to remember all the challenges we faced and overcome, and all the lessons that we've learned from our failures that have helped us accomplish today's successes. Although today marks the conclusion of our middle school career, we can reminisce about how we began as young sixth graders, still learning about the AB block schedule, the location of the grade level links, rotating classes by subject group areas, and most importantly, being incredibly short. Locker jams were also very frustrating too, but as time moved on, we were able to adjust and learn. The many obstacles that we were able to overcome is a testament to how our journey as middle schoolers has changed us, and being here today is a reminder of these endeavors. Yet while we are in this today, we must be future forward and realize that we have so many more learning experiences that we have to try our best and face in high school and beyond. It's been an absolute honor being your president during our time as eighth graders. Our various fundraisers and charities, such as the Pink Out and Pennies for Patients, have shown us that giving to others can make a difference in any community. The spirit days we've had as an entire student body has instilled within us a feeling of unity that would be the proud husky. We brought that battle of the classes as one of our biggest events yet, involving the school-wide competition that taught us lessons about harmony, generosity, and confidence. And to close up the year, we have had our foreign language trips, the pool club trip, and our eighth grade dance, during which we made so many everlasting memories. We have gained the courage to try new things, and we've learned about friendship and to not be afraid of the future. We have learned to express passion for the goals we aim to achieve, and we learn to strive every single day to better ourselves during the course of our middle school career. With many of us making drastic changes to how we act and think, most importantly, we've learned to be sensible young adults who will solve the world's problems. Here's what I urge you to remember once you leave here today. Number one, always take pride in yourself. With pride, you can be confident. Number two, be goal-oriented. We currently set goals within our academic sports teams and extracurricular activities. Keep this up and you'll continuously grow. And number three, do what you're passionate about. The greatest achievements always stem from the areas of passion, from problems we care, to, care about and wish to solve. And with that, high school awaits us. Stay true to your morals and always take the high road by never retaliating, but always seeing a better solution than what the world currently has in store for you. I believe this will be the key to remember each day in high school. As the actor Bradley Whitford said, take action. Every story you've ever connected with, every leader you've ever admired, every puny little thing that you've ever accomplished is the result of taking action. You have a choice. You can either be the passive victim of circumstance or you can be the active hero of your own life. Don't be passive and let circumstance guide your life. Take charge and be the active hero in taking out what makes you different from everyone else during your next four years of high school. Thank you everyone for these wonderful years at Madawan Aberdeen Middle School. I'm grateful for these memories. Now, I'd like to introduce to you the National Junior Honor Society President, but most importantly, a friend, Peyton Ariana. Thank you. Thank you, George. Good afternoon, faculty, family, friends, and the Madeline Aberdeen Middle School Class of 2019. As we reflect on the year that is coming to an end, we also reflect on our middle school experience as a whole. We are given 540 days in middle school. It seems like such a long time until it's the end and you see just how fast it went. When we first came in as tiny little sixth graders, we were also excited for what was to come, even though it seemed like we might be here forever. None of us expected it to go by so quickly. Now here we are, all of us sitting here, about to move on to high school. <coughs> Looking back on those 540 days, it was full of everything you could imagine. Dances, battle of classes, assemblies, after school clubs and sports, field trips, tests, friendships, jokes, just to name a few. Each person had a different day-to-day -day experience throughout our time here. 
Some spent their time in the plays and in the music rooms, while some spent their time trying their hardest in gym and staying after school playing sports. Some focused solely on their work and used all of their extra time to study. We each had different passions, but we all did them comfortably in the same environment. No matter what, together, we've all been through the highs and lows of each, each year, and here we are at the end. It seems like just yesterday was our first day in middle school and we had butterflies in our stomach, but we just finished our last, only with tears stained on our face because of how fast it has passed on. Now, as we move on, we won't all be together anymore. Whether it's gone to a different high school or taking part in a different academy, each and every one of us has a different journey ahead. But as we move on, we can all agree that the teachers and staff prepared us to the best they can. Sure, there were late nights studying. Yes, there were hard tests. And of course, class wasn't always easy. But all of these challenges were to help us prepare for what's to come. We learned to go with the flow and tackle the obstacles in our way. Whether it was rebounding from a bad grade or not performing the best during practice or a game and everything in between. Part of the requirement to be a National Junior Honor Society member includes having the qualities of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Not only should the NHS members hold these qualities, but it is key for all of us to keep these in mind as we transition into high school. It is important to be dedicated to your studies, volunteer yourself to help others, take action as a leader, respect all of the people around you, and take part in your, in your community and school environments. These characteristics will not only help in high school, but they will carry with you throughout life. Our time at MAMS has prepared us well. Throughout the three years, the teachers not only taught us all we need to know about the slope of a line and the components of a story, for example, but also important lessons we'll remember forever. In social studies, we learned about Confucius and the importance of morals, but from our teachers, we have also learned to be a good person. Surround yourself with good people. Don't talk down to others and own up to your actions, even the bad ones. Everyone makes mistakes, but learning from them is what makes you a better person. Being honest, None of us are perfect or had the perfect middle school experience, no matter what people show you on the outside. But, wholeheartedly, I can say that each of us are walking out of here a better person than we came in. Whether it was with the help of a parent, a sibling, one of your closest friends is practically your family now, a teacher that you created an unbreakable bond with, or anyone else that has guided you along the way, we all conquered the struggles together and came out on top. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who played a part in the past 540 days, no matter how good your song, because without you, nothing would be these past few years have been some of the best days of our lives, so let's make the next 720 days even better. On to the next chapter we all go. Congratulations, class of 2019.
promoting rigorous and diverse coursework, and learning opportunities that align to the interests and personal passions of our student body. Our district's focus and commitment to promoting and supporting equity, access, and inclusiveness saturates all areas of our curriculum, and we remain committed to exploring new and innovative practices to ensure every student is equipped for success, regardless of your gender, ethnicity, background, belief, or socioeconomic status. We are confident that the next four years will prepare you for college, career, and beyond, while igniting and cultivating your personal passion and a love of learning. Milestones such as today's eighth grade promotion provide an opportunity to reflect, learn, and grow. I ask that you think about who you are and the person you want to be. I ask that you think about what you are passionate about and how you can have a positive effect on those around you. Find your why, set your goals, develop a plan, and do the work. And remember, you have many people standing ready to support you along the way. And while there may be obstacles, use these situations as learning opportunities and try not to make the same mistake twice. I want to pause a moment to talk to you about the power and importance of building relationships. During the next four years and well beyond, you will be in situations and environments that will test the true measure of your character. I challenge you to meet and interact with people outside of your circle because you never know which connection will lead you to a new and unexpected place in your life. Remember, differences are what make each of us unique and special. Tolerance, acceptance, and inclusivity are important qualities to remember. Not everyone we meet, work with, or learn from will look like, talk like, or act like you, but remember to remain open, respectful, and free of judgment. These are the qualities you should remember. It's our individual differences that make our school district a safe place for teaching and learning and a culturally diverse environment where we can learn from others who may not be like us or as we would expect. I urge you to build bonds grounded in respect, trust, acceptance, and tolerance. Although change can sometimes be scary, I encourage you to embark on your high school career with excitement, curiosity, and a mind to the future. I challenge you to move out of your comfort zone and tackle new and unfamiliar situations with vigor and zest, keeping an open mind to the possibilities, even if you think you have it all figured out. Each of you started your journey to middle school as tiny droplets of water. You likely felt small and aimless entering a building you didn't know with teachers and students you had never met. After those first few days in classes, some of you began to form bonds and embarked on new friendships that will last long beyond your time in school. Together, you started to form small clouds, each group working together. As you grew and matured, these clouds started to combine, and you, you are now ready to take high school as one more awesome force of friendship and wisdom. And together, you will take Matawan Regional High School by storm. I encourage each of you to remain in the moment when it matters most. Laugh often and scoop up every ounce of fun and education in your path over the next four years. Your tenacity and work ethic have driven you to succeed to be your best. As a graduating class, your legacy are the things that will set you apart as well-rounded students with a successful track record of academic achievement, community service, support for the arts, leadership, and caring for each other. The 2019 eighth grade students had a great year. In addition to increases in student achievement in language arts, literacy, and math, students enjoyed success in the academic goal, choral program, and a community food drive. These are just a few examples of the important work accomplished by our eighth grade students. I congratulate each and every one of you for all that you've done. In closing, I want to leave you with a quote from Maya Angelou that has always resonated with me personally and professionally. At the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. They will remember how you made them feel. Thank you and congratulations and best of luck, Matto and Aberdeen Middle School Class of 2019. Thank you, Father Griffin. At this time, I would like to honor and recognize students in the math class of 2019 for their academic excellence. Though we know that all students are capable of outstanding achievement, the following groups of students deserve special recognition for placing themselves in a class that distinguishes them from the rest of their peers. Would the members of the National Junior Honor Society please stand to be recognized? These 36 students have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, character, and citizenship. 
They have been active members of both their school and their community while maintaining a weighted grade point average of 3.8 or higher. Please join me as we honor this group with a round of applause. With the recipients of the 2019 President's Education Award for Academic Excellence, please stand to be recognized. to the 30 students standing before you today. These students have earned the prestigious distinction of academic excellence for earning the highest weighted grade point average at Manilon Aberdeen Middle School. This is quite an accomplishment and students will present the certificate signed by the President of the United States. Please join me as we honor these students. The next award will be presented to this year's salutatorium, the student with the second highest weighted grade point average of the entire eighth grade class. During her three year career at Matawan Aberdeen Middle School, Caitlin Boyer has amassed a 4.379 weighted grade point average. Caitlin is a member of the National Junior Honor Society, the Mans Chorus, and has participated in the spring musical each of her three years at Mans. Please join me in congratulating this year's salutatorian, Ms. Caitlin Boyer. Our final academic award this afternoon will be our battle of Victoria. This award is given to the student with the highest weighted grade point average of the 275 students seated here before us. The hard work that she has put into her academics should serve as a model for us all. Noor Ali has amassed a 4.475 weighted grade point average during her three years at Mans. Noor serves as the secretary for the National Junior Honor Society and is an active member of the Mans Multicultural Club. Noor will be attending the Global Humanities Academy at Matawan Regional High School. Please join me in congratulating this year's valedictorian, Ms. Moore. It is all 
also step towards the future. Whether we are going to private high schools, vocational schools, or our very own Round One Regional, the opportunities we have been and will be given are astounding. The education we received has surely prepared us for high school, thanks to our family, friends, of course ourselves, and our devoted teachers. A strong memory I'm sure many of us will have for years to come is the same past teachers, the teachers that together made your middle school experience worthwhile and even became your friends. Thank you, teachers, for your support. In these last few weeks of the school year, there has been no shortage of sadness and nostalgia. Thoughtful yearbook signatures have been written out by friends and teachers, celebrating the experiences we have had as a group, the friendships we have made. But at the risk of sounding cliche, this is not the end. Now that we have finished middle school, we must look towards the future, even after high school. What will happen to the man's graduates? What will we be like four years from now? When many of us will meet again in Serena to graduate from Madawan Regional High School, where will we be 10 years from now? 20 years. We're a new generation, the new doctors, lawyers, and innovators. Today's a, today's a day to celebrate what we have done and what we will do. As Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, I would like to be remembered as someone who used whatever talent she had to do her work to the best of her ability. I feel as though this should apply to us all, a class of students working to the best of their ability. Now and in the future. Congratulations, graduates, and good luck to us all. How about another round of applause for these two guys? I would now like to welcome two dedicated members of the Mann's family to the podium. Ms. Helen Beeble, 8th grade social studies teacher, and Ms. Terry Maltese, 8th grade language arts teacher, who will now recognize two very deserving students for the Madawan Aberdeen Middle School Class of 2019 Citizenship Award. Citizenship Award is given to an outstanding student who displays the following attributes. Participates in school and community service, Shows a positive attitude towards classmates, school, and community. Displays an understanding and appreciation of all civic responsibility. Possesses strength of character and courage to do what is right. Promotes citizenship with their school and community through any activity. We are happy, as the bees, to present Liam Clancy with the Citizenship Award for this year. Kate 
Will the candidates for the Madawan Aberdeen Middle School Promotional Diploma please rise? Board of Education, President Friedman, Superintendent Micah, I am honored to present to you the Madawan Aberdeen Middle School Class of 2019. that those students standing before you have fulfilled both state and local requirements for middle school promotion. I respectfully request that at the conclusion of the ceremony, the honorable members of the Board of Education bestow upon these graduates the diploma of the Madawan Aberdeen Middle School. Graduates, I am honored to stand before you today as your principal. I ask of you but one thing as you leave here today. Make us proud. I wish each, and, each of you much success in a future that stands before you. While we may all go our separate ways, you will always be a Husky. And as a good friend of mine once said, it's always a great day to be a Husky. Thank you. Will the first row of students please remain standing? The calling of the names this afternoon will be performed by 8th grade teachers Ms. Dana Spafford and Ms. Joanne Layton. Francisco C. 
Macias. Ryan Chambers. Patrick Charles. Liam Clancy. Nancy Clark. Kayla Claudie. Tyler Spiel. Courtney Coco. Maddox Cole. Alec Corby. Tyrese Kraft. Colin Crawford. Grace Regan, Felicity Cruda, Mackenzie Courier, Lucas Kuxmano, Christopher Diarmeta, Brianna Daly, Devin Davis. Isabella Donnelly, Daniel Fabishat, Andrew Finelli, Brandon Philomeni, Emma Fossum, Godfrey Frimpong, Arthur Fumarola, Ashley Gallo, Ava Gallo, Jalen Galloway, Madison Garcia, Nia Garcia, William Gardell, Sophia Garpala.
Joey Higgins. Sierra Hill. Avisham Imra. Lara Jackson. Henry Jacome. Tracy Duregi. Kasire Johnson. Nia Johnson. Nicole Johnson. Erica Jones. Sanaya Jones. Teron Jones. Jacqueline Jordan. Brianna Landers, Xavier Laporte, Mallory Lasco, Avery Lorisella, Jason Lee, Lucas Liu, Ryan Liu. Theodore Lorenz. <laughs> Stevenson Lewinsky. <laughs> Alyssa Lynn. <laughs> Alexis Machira. <laughs> Juliana Magliocco. <laughs> Jorge Maldonado. This Ruth Mandala, Eva Marsh, Lauren Martellini, Adriana Martin, Victor Martinez, Owen Marzullo, Benjamin Natlick.
Robin Ovet. Joseph Muniz. Mason Murphy. Emily O'Keefe, Michael Oximio, Leoni Osborne, Yasmin Padilla, Gabriella Paloma, Amanda Pantoja. Arpan 
Shi. Ryder Silvers. Kaya Simon. Emma Snyder. Savannah Sobieski. Brenda Soriana. Brianna Soriana. Joelle Sosa. Zion Spence. Sheila Sergeant. Kiani Sylvester. Thank <laughs> you. 